nice clap in front of your face. <laughs> so Willie, this is this has been a long time coming. Yeah, it has. Um, it's been a been a long, long, hard, you know, journey back. But um, you know, I'm grateful, grateful for it. So, how did you feel, Willie, when you're in isolation and just waiting for the outcome of, of the investigation? Yeah, it was uh, mentally challenging. Um, you know, lucky enough, I had great family support back home that helped pass the time. I guess, you know, waiting for the outcome was the hardest part, but, you know, um, not knowing what my future was looking like. How important was it to have the uh, support of the club? Yeah, really, really important. You know, lucky enough to have, you know, Peter Staples, and Chance Bateman, who was at the club at the time, and Jamie Burnell, who, got, who came up to Darwin and, you know, to, to visit me, and they kind of kept my dream alive of, of playing AFL football again. And, um, you know, also everyone around the club who, you know, who stuck by me and, you know, believed in me, so. When you first came back into the club in June, how were you feeling about that? Yeah, I had, um, I had a bit of mixed emotions about it. Um, I um, learned to take things as it comes, so um, yeah, just, just excited for the next chapter of my journey. It was good to, to come back and um, yeah, do what I love doing, and that, that's play footy, and um, yeah. So when you did come back, what reaction did you get from your teammates? No, they were really, really welcoming and, you know, provided me with great support. Um, and yeah, it was just good to be back in the club environment. So Willie, does this place feel like home to you? Yeah, um, I guess there's a few of the boys I've become really close to and who are like family to me now. And um, I guess the club is kind of like a sanctuary and a safe place, you know, for me. So, um, yeah, it feels like home. This two-month block of training, basically a short pre-season, uh, has that got you ready to play? Yeah, um, lucky enough I, you know, kind of kept training back home to, to get me prepared for the training block down here and, um, yeah, I feel like my body's, body's ready to go. For the 22 months that you were away from the club, uh, what sort of training did you do? <laughs> did a did a lot of training, um, a lot of fishing, hunting. Um, I found employment back home, and um, yeah, did a lot of the off-season running running programs that we you know saved along the way. And um, yeah, lucky we have a little small gym back home that I got to use for my strength training. Also, so. You had that one game of scrimmage at Caulfield Grammar when we were in a bit of a quarantine bubble. How did the body pull up after that? Yeah, um, I guess I was a bit sore afterwards, but um, no, it was really good to get out and you know have a kick around with the boys and you know a lot of the boys that I never got to play with or um, like a lot of the younger boys and got to see their strength they bring on the footy field and yeah, it was yeah really good. First game back. Um, will you be a little bit nervous about that one? Yeah, I get, you know, lucky enough I get nervous every game, but um, I guess this will be more of a relief for me. Um, it'll be probably surreal, yeah, surreal to me also. So Willie, how much will it mean to you to actually run out and play the game again? Uh, it'll mean a lot, um, not only to me, but, you know, to my family who's been there through these hard times with me. Um, yeah, that'll mean the world.